Bitcoin price crash isn't over yet. JP Morgan. I want to talk to you about why I think this is manipulation by JP Morgan and why we will see more of that. Let's not forget that JP Morgan has been very bullish on Bitcoin very recently. So JP Morgan revises price target to 130,000 citing decreased volatility. They want a little piece of this. They've been around for, you know, some of these banks hundreds of years and they are not growing like some of these other cryptocurrency companies. They want to get in on it, but they don't want to get in on it at 60,000. They don't want to get in at 50,000. They want to buy in for 50% off. They'll be coming out, you know, probably here in a couple months with ETFs or with different products for some of their clients. And they want to say that they got a good buy-in price. They want to say that they really got in at the bottom floor. Now, once these banks turn around, it's really easy to send up the price. I mean, I've shown that with Goldman Sachs, where they came up and said that they had a massive price target. If all these different banks go in at the same time and say, hey, we're buying up Bitcoin, we're buying up Ethereum, we think the price is going to go up to 200000 could send up the price it would make a lot of clients very happy when they 5x their money or 4x their money right now we have bitcoin and ethereum dropping today bitcoin was around 45,500, and now we see another drop and that is after the news that china bans financial payment institutions from cryptocurrency business overall i think there are some interesting things we can take out of this first of all it's a great dip buying opportunity if you want to hold on to crypto this has not really changed the crypto landscape at all. We still have mass adoption coming here in the United States and the other countries outside of China. We just had Bitcoin go under 30,000 for the first time in a long time. So we had to go under 30,000, Ethereum under 1,800. Cardano is right at $1.05, which is right where it's hit support several times. A lot of people <laughs> really wanted those January prices again, and they're getting them. But it feels a little bit different this time. We are at extreme fear. And looking at the historical fear and greed index, we've hit extreme fear 10, uh, 10 on the scale a couple times over the last year. The selling of Bitcoin by miners. Now, I've talked about how this is actually a good thing that miners are moving out of China. It kind of takes out that narrative that Bitcoin is so environmentally unfriendly because they're going to be going to more hydroelectric power and more sustainable ways of powering Bitcoin mining, but they are reducing their Bitcoin. So you can see Bitcoin uh, in Bitcoin miner wallets has been reduced by 5741 Bitcoin. Now, personally, I'm going to continue buying the dip. Now, I bought a significant amount yesterday when we hit sub 33. I am down on that. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'm looking long term, but I am down on that. I will continue to add as it falls down. If uh, a couple days from now, we're still at the same level, I'll be buying. So is this the end? Is this the end of the bull market? Have we just seen a lot of money flowing out? The fundamentals have changed. We're done. There's no point in investing. We should pull all our money. We should take our losses and head out the door. No, I don't think so. If we look at the charts, right? We've seen this before. We've seen massive corrections, right? We've seen 30%, 38%. 38%, 33, 38, 36, 29. Now you might say, well, we saw 53% this time. Well, we've seen that in the past. That has been something that we saw back several, several years ago. We saw it fall 83%. And then we saw it go back up. And then we saw it go back up. And we saw it go back up. Sure, you can take your money off the exchanges, but there is more adoption than ever. And all you're doing really, in my opinion, is giving over your money to larger institutions that are willing to wait a little bit longer here. This is the insider. I'm sure a lot of people heard about it the first time, right? After the market crashed, after the Bitcoin market, crypto market crashed, we had this post come up from Anonymous saying, hey, this is going to happen. He called out everything that was going to happen. They were going to push it. Uh, these whales were going to push it down to 30,000. And then it was going to bounce back up. It's going to liquidate a lot of traders. Uh, and he basically laid everything out. And then he posts again. And I, I think Alex does a good job of explaining this. If you are someone that actually can manipulate the market, why would he post that this is going to happen? Well, the first time, no one was watching. No one cares if you post anonymously on some Reddit site or whatever this is. Uh, and says exactly what's going to happen. No one's going to believe you, right? 
The second time though, after a ton of people are watching, then then people are going to actually believe you and they're going to try to act on it. So what's he say here? A lot of what happened, uh, he cannot discuss, but here's what I can tell you. Right now we're going to short Bitcoin. 25K is the current target. We're trying to knock a certain player out and not Tom Brady. This time I cannot give you the exact time frame for the sell off, but things will start getting interesting around 7 a.m. UTC. Bitcoin is gonna fall down to 25K, they say. They post something that is very negative. Maybe they even start shorting just a little bit to get it going. Is this guy just an awesome, nice guy that's trying to help everyone make money and help the people that he knows lose money? <laughs> Probably not. So this time, you know, how do they make money, right? They gain trust when no one's watching. So after the fact, everyone trusts them, but they don't lose anything out in the short term. Then afterwards, they post another time. So they are controlling the market. They're they're Robin Hood, right? They're just trying to help you out. And then they shoot you through the back. How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I have been so excited to film this video. I've been thinking about this for the last couple weeks, probably. Thinking about how a lot of people haven't put all the pieces together for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I